Hello and uh, good morning or whatever you guys are in the world. Um, so I haven't been here in a while again, but I'm planning on getting back for real this time. <laughs> so this video is basically like um, I've been moving a lot and I'm freaking tired and my skin is super dry. I haven't exfoliated it and like I can't even remember when. So this video is uh, a little bit of self-care during one day and I wish I could do this every day but in reality it's not possible <laughs> but I hope this can bring some inspiration to you guys if you're feeling like your life has been kind of stressful and just like take a day and take care of yourself like do stuff that makes you feel good so I'm starting the morning by drinking lots of water because I'm really bad at doing that and I feel like I really need to hydrate. I also wake up pretty early and start a morning stretching routine which like never happens but actually the body feels so good after having like a just a short stretch session. Just take like five or ten minutes from your morning to do this to wake your body up and just Get it going it will feel so much better and you will feel so energized after so i'm going to try to make this a daily thing i know it's gonna be hard for me in the beginning but i will try <laughs> so next i haven't actually washed my hair in like a week <laughs> i never wash it that often but now it's time my hair was just so tangled and boring so i'm really taking care of it so i'm putting in a hair mask a uh, pigmented hair mask and leaving it on for 15 minutes and while I do that I exfoliate my skin <laughs> to make it feel soft again and so makeup will be more fun to put on I'm also putting on some eye patches and just I don't even know do you know what what the right side of these are because I don't <laughs> and also I put on a glow mask a mud glow mask from pixie beauty I love their products and I'll leave this on for 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes is good, I think. <laughs> After that, I'm doing some... Uh, I can't actually remember what this is called, but basically you massage your skin and make your blood circulate. I actually don't know if I'm doing this right, but it feels nice and feels like I'm treating my skin. And uh, yeah, it feels really good. So I leave it, I leave the, what's the name of it here. <laughs> basically it's supposed to like firm your skin and make it look younger. I don't know, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Then I'm just applying some really moisturizing products to my face and uh, after that I wash my hair out. I'm applying my favorite BB cream uh, which has protein in it and I'm trying to do the no poo method but now that I'm using my hair mask I have to do it just every now and then. For breakfast, I try to eat oatmeal um, almost every day, but it doesn't, I think it takes such a long time. So sometimes I just eat a sandwich, but this feels so much better and it's so much healthier than just a sandwich. So I make like my own mix of oatmeal. I use oatmeal and then I put in some casein protein powder with vanilla flavor. I always add raspberries and some seeds and I've started to drink more oat milk because um, I've been drinking milk for so long and I feel super bad so I'm starting to switch over to oat milk and it's actually really good. <laughs> so this is my breakfast for today and it just feels super healthy and it makes me feel a lot better than just having that quick sandwich in the morning. Then after breakfast, I have some self time uh, with the cats and cuddle and just do stuff that... Just do a checklist of what I should have gotten done. And most importantly, boop the nose and cuddle the cats. Now, I haven't been wearing makeup for a long time and if I have, it's just been like a quick makeup. But I feel like I want to put more time into making like the perfect base and just feeling good with my makeup. Because it's just been like a routine, a pretty boring routine lately, or nothing at all. 
and I feel comfortable without makeup but sometimes it's just like sometimes I can feel I look so dull without makeup and it just feels good to apply a real good makeup sometimes so that's what I'm doing today and I'm working on putting on a really glowy base uh, and I love these uh, drop foundations from Lumine. They're just so glowy and amazing. It's like really light coverage, but you can build it up a little bit. I'm also going in with some cream colors. And this one is from Urban Decay. And it took me, I had this for so long until I realized it had both a powder side and a cream contour side. <laughs> so I'm just applying like the light colors for highlight and shaping up my face. And then I'm going in with the contour shades. Then I am going in with a cream color from Isadora and this is a cream blush and I use this like every day. I also add this cream highlighter from Nabla and it's super pretty and glowy and I like it a lot. Does anyone else feel their brows are untamable lately? I don't know what's happened with mine. It's so hard styling them, but I'm trying my best. Um, I'm applying an eye pencil and this is uh, like a brow def definer from uh, NYX Cosmetics. I'll try to link all the products in the description. I just use like the products that I can reach from here because I just moved into this apartment and I haven't set up my makeup space or art space yet so my makeup is a little bit everywhere in boxes so I just pick out what I can reach and find but yeah this brow definer thing is really nice <laughs> and I'm also applying a brow gel and this one is from... Mm, I can't remember <laughs> but I'll link it in the description
Then I used my favorite powder by, by Terry. It's like really shimmery and the center has a really pretty highlighter so you can mix it all together. But for now my base is already so glowy so I'm just uh, putting the brush on the outside circle. And I'm using the middle circle to add some powder highlights. And it's not like sparkly, it just has a really nice shimmer to it. Then I'm topping this over with the powder bronzer and I mix this bronzer shade with uh, the contour shade because I'm not that warm skinned. I have pretty pale and really weird undertone. It's like a, I call it zombie undertone. It's not yellow, it's not, uh, it's not pink, it's more of a gray, <laughs> gray green undertone. Can anyone relate? Like pale olive skinned people? I think that's what I have, pale olive skin. It's really difficult to um, color match, I think. And I also bring in to apply some freckles because um, spring is coming, although it's barely noticeable in Sweden. It's been snowing and hailing um, in the middle of May. <laughs> Crazy! But I'm adding some freckles because it makes me feel a bit more summer fresh and it gets me more excited for summer. Because um, <laughs> my pale skin is uh, ugh, not fun to look at in the summer. I'm just kidding, it's fun. But adding some freckles and some glow feels great. And then I'm going in with the eyeshadow and here I'm going in with a kind of a cold contour shade to um, shade my crease and I drag it out and up to create like a, this is super trendy, <laughs> like a cat eye shape but I'm just doing it a little bit and I feel like I put on a little bit too much but I blended it out with my fingers and <laughs> also if you noticed I'm using my fingers a lot in this video and it's just something I've started to like prefer because I prefer a cream base and I prefer using my fingers and it works so much more smoothly once I had um, exfoliated my skin and now I'm using a shimmery shadow or this is more of like a highlighter but I use it on my eyelids too because it's very pretty and it's a subtle look very subtle I started to like to use uh, a nude colored eye pencil in my waterline and I drag it out more to the side, to the edges of my eye because um, that makes my eyes look so much whiter than they are and this is a technique I've started to work. I might make a video of it someday, of my new makeup routine because this one is kind of um, different than I usually do. I wanted to add a bit more eye makeup today even though it's, a, it's very little but uh, yeah, this is still different from what I do every day. I also put on a liquid eyeliner and I also line um, the inside of my eye and turn it a bit down as you can see here. <laughs> turn it down! I don't know what I'm saying! <laughs> it's been too long. But um, yeah, so this is like a glow up look, okay? But I know it's not like a lot of makeup, but it's still, this is what I'm comfortable with. And if I would put on like a lot of makeup, I wouldn't be comfortable with it. So this is my type of glow up look. It's not huge, but it's, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> then I apply some mascara and this is a different one. I'm using false lashes, which I never do. And at first I was a little bit um, unsure about this because I always feel like it's too much to my eyes, but I just like, uh, cut an eyelash in half and put it on the outer corner although I feel like this uh, these lashes were a bit too thick for my taste but I kind of liked it in the end but at first I was kind of questioning it and then I'm using my favorite lip uh, lip liner and I always I'm almost out of it I have to order a new one I really hope they still sell because <laughs> this is my all-time favorite one and I'm using a birds and bees um, chapstick with some color and shimmer in it and it just smells so good. I love these chapsticks and I think I'm done What do you guys think? Oh, right my hair what to do with that one? <laughs> put it in a braid Put it out and Yeah, it looked better before didn't it? <laughs> oh, well, what do you gotta do? I didn't want to use a heat heat tool and there we are! <laughs> Glow up! What? Who is this?
I really hope you guys like this video. I am starting to get back to YouTube. I have so many videos planned and uh, I hope to see you here still. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to see and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye! <laughs>